We just heard from the president talking about the border and the deadly drug problem. Opioid-related deaths in America topping more than 100,000 each year. In the U.S., it hit a record in 2021 with an average of one death every five minutes. But one group in Central Florida is on the front lines of the drug crisis, handing out life-saving medication. And this is not Narcan. News Nation's Brooke Schaefer had a chance to see them in action in a News Nation exclusive. She is live now in downtown Orlando. So, Brooke, what are they handing out? Yeah, Nicole, they went around downtown Orlando handing out these boxes of Cluxado. It's like Narcan, but it's even more powerful. That is how critical the opioid crisis is here in Central Florida. Fentanyl is showing up in more drugs than ever before. The DEA calling fentanyl the deadliest threat to our country right now. 2022 saw record months for fentanyl busts across the country. The deadly drug is pouring in mostly from the Mexico border. Just weeks ago in Florida, a police officer suffered a medical emergency after reportedly coming in contact with fentanyl during a traffic stop. She's breathing. Overdose deaths in the U.S. are happening so frequently. Ashley Perkins got a text. Her friend died from an overdose just before our interview. It was just, I'm just letting you know we lost another one. And that's it. We don't even talk about it anymore. Oh, what happened? What was it? We know what it is. In Orlando, Florida, Project Opioid founder Andre Bailey suggests the fight against fentanyl isn't just at the Mexico border. It's in our nation's downtowns. Wherever young people are, we know there's going to be drugs, and we know that we're going to lose lives every single day. So if this is from the first of the year, and we're talking about nine overdoses. Right. So that's an overdose a day since yes. January 1. Yes. Is that yes. surprising to you? Not at all. Dennis Lima is the sheriff in Seminole County, about 30 minutes outside Orlando. The number of overdoses in his county went down slightly last year, but from record highs the year before. Just last night, we had somebody using marijuana. That, that potentially was laced with fentanyl. Your officers, when they have their Narcan on them and a Friday night comes around, does it sort of feel like it's not an if, but when they're going to need to use that? Oh, they, they absolutely know within their first year of work, it is very likely that they will not only deploy Narcan, they will do it multiple times. Project Opioid said overdose deaths in Florida are rising fastest in Central Florida. Fentanyl caused deaths in Central Florida are up 172% since 2015, the group said. This drug is unlike anything we've ever seen in American history. It's everywhere and in, in every drug on these streets and in every downtown across the United States. There are tools to stop an opioid overdose. It comes in a little nasal um, spray like so, and you can actually just go spray right up their nose. This week, Project Opioid let News Nation join as they went to bars and restaurants in downtown Orlando, handing out boxes of Cluxado, an overdose reversal spray that's twice as powerful as Narcan a new necessary addition to their first aid kits. We have a fire extinguisher and a fire. We want all the staff to know how to use the fire extinguisher. And this kind of goes right in line with that. So has it gotten to the point where even Narcan isn't enough? Uh, listen, um, uh, as I told you, there was the young lady that, that we were introduced to, 16 years old. She took what she thought was a Percocet and was overdosing um, in the spare bedroom at her parents' house. And they have to give her four Narcans to bring her back. Narcan is wonderful. The problem is the drugs are becoming more and more powerful. Along with more powerful drugs are powerful fears of an opioid crisis that doesn't seem to be slowing down. I don't want this to be around anymore when my children are born. Like, I know that sounds impossible, but I don't think it is. So really, they told me that the next step in this opioid crisis is getting things like Narcan and Coxado into our hands, people like you and I, so that we know how to deal with an overdose if it happens right in front of us. Nicole? Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.